I built a few parts organizers, some more fancy than others, but with the price of lumber being so high, I thought I would explore an alternative. And it's something that almost everyone has more than enough of. I've got a few boxes to work with, and I'm going to start by making the drawers. And this is all single layer corrugated cardboard. You can get it in two layer and three layer, and I'll actually be using some two layer stuff later in the build. And the more layers you have, the stronger the cardboard will be. But I'm going to make these drawers so that when they fold up, the sides front and back will be doubled anyway. You know, we're working channel, but there's not much we're working in this project. But I did cut some guides from scrap plywood to the right width to help me lay this out. And before I started doing this, I gave it a lot of thought and I drew something up as a pattern to go by. And I'm using an old project here. This is a carving knife that I made from a drill bit a few years ago. After the cuts are made, I need to make some creases so that the cardboard will bend cleanly. And the best tool I had on hand, although it wasn't in the workshop, was just a regular butter knife. Using the back edge of the tip of the knife will crease the cardboard without cutting it too much. And I missed these cuts, but I'll do them now. These are for the tabs that will fold over and lock the corner. Now, before I fold it up and glue it together, I wanna to make sure all of the folds are actually folding clean. That way I won't have to mess around with it when I do fold it up. And I'm using wood glue to glue it together. And these things need to be clamped and I've got spring clamps, but a better option for this are those clips that you can get for paper. And now the only problem here is that it really needs to be clamped on the end as well. So I had an idea that I could make something that will clamp all four sides at the same time. This goes down inside the box and like I said, it clamps all the sides at the same time. And to make it easier to pull out, I'm using a screw as a handle. Have a look in the description and you'll find a link to a deal that you might be interested in. It's a limited run of my I Build It six piece multi-purpose screwdriver sets. And as a bonus, it includes a handmade bench block holder for the set. My six piece screwdriver set includes three slot and three Phillip head screwdrivers with overall lengths of four inches to eight and a half inches. And the blades are made from high quality chromium steel alloy with a black oxide finish. Now there are only 200 of these and while they're still available, simply find the link in the description and pick up one for yourself today. And with Christmas just around the corner, these make a great gift, even if you're giving it to yourself, which I highly encourage. And as always, thank you for the support. After I got the first one done, I spent some time breaking down the cardboard to try to get the most out of the pieces that I had. And while I was doing this, I was thinking about how many I'll need for a reasonable size organizer. And I came up with 15. That'll be three across and five high. And I have more than enough cardboard to get that many. Also, while I was doing this, I was thinking about the case and how I'll build that. And like I mentioned before, I have some double thickness cardboard that I'll be using for that. I just needed to come up with a way to make the case so that the drawers would slide in and out freely. So I'm not going to lie, this is kind of tedious, but it's not as tedious as making this many drawers from wood. And when you can make your cuts with a knife instead of a table saw, you know you're increasing the safety as well. Anyway, after the first two were done, I got really good at folding these up. So I got all the drawers made, all 15 of them, and while they were drying, I had one other thing I needed to do to finish those, and that's cut dividers to go in those drawers. And this is more cardboard, but it's double layer this time. And I made another guide to help lay these out. I'm going to cut several strips and then cut those into dividers that will fit exactly in the drawer. And to start, I'm gently pushing in the sides of the drawers so that they'll be tight to the dividers when I put them in. And then I made another couple of guide blocks to help me space these properly. Since I'm only having three spaces in each drawer, I can use that in both ends. And then once again, I'll glue those in place and then add some glue on the top. 
and to clamp it you can use tape across it like this or since we're working with cardboard here you can make a quick and dirty cardboard clamp that does the job even better and then while i was doing that i was thinking about how you're going to pull these drawers open and the best solution that i could come up with was to add a piece of cardboard to the bottom of the drawer that sticks out and acts as a handle i should point out that if you want extra strength on these drawers even though i don't think it really needs it you can go full length with this cardboard right to the back so now with that done i can actually start on the case and here's some of that double thickness cardboard again that i'm laying out and what i need first are the dividers that will go between the drawers because i need those to determine how wide the cabinet needs to be so i'll put them between the drawers and i'm also putting ones on the side and you'll see why those are there later and i can measure across and then I got this big piece of cardboard. I bought a new computer recently and it came in a big box that's double layer. And originally I was going to try to fold this up as in fold the sides together. But then I backed off on that knowing that it was going to be very tricky to get the dimensions perfect for that. And then I would still have a problem of closing up the seam on the end. So I figured better to make the sides separate and then glue them together right on the corner. And it's worth pointing out, you know, personal pride in some past projects, that this carving knife is staying sharp during all of this cutting. I haven't sharpened it not even once. So hot melt glue is probably the best thing to put this together with. And I'm reinforcing the corner with a, a bead and then I'm smoothing that out with the tip of the glue gun. And then I'm adding a divider and that will support the shelf above that will have another row of drawers. I suppose you can use hot melt glue here, but I think that the wood glue makes more sense. And you can see how snugly those drawers fit. I figured the best way to make this was to leave the sides a bit long and then trim it off after. I think the corners on this case are really strong as they are, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to add these extra corners to reinforce them. Even with this fully loaded, it's not going to weigh very much, so I added a piece of MDF on the bottom. And since this is kind of technically cardboard to begin with, I don't think I was breaking any rules. And then I could have left the front as it was, but I figured I would dress it up by adding strips of thin cardboard. And here it is finished and ready to use with all of the drawers loaded up. 